This week we have a pair of words, a verb and a noun, and let us take a look. A spadzomai is our verb, I greet, I salute, or I welcome. And our noun, a spasmos, which is a greeting, or a welcome, or a salute. In its most basic meaning, this word group refers to a physical embrace. The etymology of the word is sort of cryptic. We don't have a clear sense of how it developed or where it came from, but if we look at ancient usage, it initially referred to a physical embrace, a hug. Uh, it became, by extension, the act of greeting or welcoming someone, a hug, a kiss, the extension of a hand to someone, and it's both literal in greeting and figurative. What do I mean by figurative? You can be welcoming of an idea uh, and, and uh, not hug the idea, but you can embrace the idea sort of intellectually or emotionally, right? So it's figurative or literal. In a literal sense, at the time of the New Testament writing, there was a common greeting. So here in North America where I live, the common greeting is hello. Um, in the first century where the New Testament texts were written, the common greeting to an individual is erene soy, uh, peace to you. To, to a plurality, to multiple people, it would be erene humin, peace to you, plural. Does that sound familiar, right? I end most of these episodes with charis kai erene humin grace and peace to you, plural, because I'm assuming that more than one person watches a video, right? So, erene soy, peace to you, that's the greeting. Still today, in uh, Judaism, shalom, the, the greeting of peace. Uh, in Islam, salam, the greeting of peace, still is, is a, a consistent thing. And in some uh, Christian liturgy, at church each week, there will be a greeting of peace to one another. So, we're talking about a hospitality culture in which the greeting, the welcoming of another is very important. It's a sign of honor and respect to be greeted, and it's a sign of hospitality to welcome in the stranger, the traveler, etc., etc. And there's a dynamic involved in which the... Um, you are showing honor by being the one who instigates and or initiates the greeting. And Jesus makes much of this in our first example where we're going to look at Mark chapter 12, verses 38 and 39. This is from the ESV with the Koine Supplied. And Jesus is warning his disciples of the scribes. Uh, and in his teaching, he said, Beware the scribes who like to walk around in long robes and like greetings, a spas moose. This is in the accusative plural, greetings, uh, in the marketplaces and have the best seats in the synagogues and the places of honor at feasts. He goes on to tell them that they devour widows' houses. So Jesus warns about the religious scholars and their love for being treated with deference and respect. They like to go to public places and see other people come up to greet them. It shows, it gives them sort of social credit, right? And so Jesus' warning is about people who are concerned with being shown deference publicly like this. Uh, they pose a danger. Everyone out, they wanna be seen by others as being the recipients of respect or regard. Next up, we're going to see the verb form. So this was the noun form in Mark 12. Now we're going to see the verb form in another warning. And this is in Luke chapter 10, verses 3 and 4. Go your way. Behold, I am sending you out as lambs in the midst of wolves. Carry no money bag, no knapsack, no sandals, and greet no one on the road. And here, greet is aspaseste. So this is uh, an aorist imperative, don't greet people on the road. So Jesus has dispensed his disciples to go out to multiple cities and towns and villages 
uh, on a missionary trip and he tells them, you've been assigned a place to go, don't provide for your well-being, you'll be cared for where you go, and also don't stop along the way. In the first century, in the uh, Roman controlled region here, the road is the dangerous place. If you get to the town, if you get to the city, you're fairly safe. But it's the journey where the danger lies. You have to hope that you're on a road that's being patrolled by the Romans. Otherwise, you could encounter highwaymen, robbers, and be in grave danger. Your mission isn't to talk to the people on the way, it's to go to the town to which you've been sent. So don't stop and greet strangers on the way. He told them, I'm sending you out like lambs among wolves and the strangers along the road in this particular instance uh, are where the disciples are told to avoid uh, because they fall under the category of wolves with the lambs. Let's move on to positive examples. And this one is from Mark chapter nine, verse 15. Jesus arrives on the scene and we read, and immediately all the crowd when they saw him were greatly amazed and ran up to him and greeted him. And here greeted is espadzanto. And espadzanto, uh, espadzanto, notice the augment at the beginning here, is an imperfect active indicative third person plural they were greeting him. So it's a continual action at a previous, in a previous instance. Like in the past, they were greeting him. They are not greeting him now. When they saw him, they rushed up to him amazed and they were greeting him. So literal greeting, probably involving hugs, kisses, handshakes, pats on the back, embracing, you know, figuratively and literally, happy to see him. Uh, that's, that's the uh, crux of our word. Next, we're going to see it even as a farewell. So uh, if we think about uh, back to Shalom, Shalom is a greeting and a farewell. Peace to you. Peace to you as you're coming. Peace to you as you're going. Uh, in, in Hawaiian culture, aloha is a greeting and a farewell. Here we see in Acts chapter 20, verse 1, uh, we see it as a farewell. After the uproar ceased, Paul sent for the disciples, and after encouraging them, he said farewell and departed for Macedonia. And farewell here is uh, aspasamanos. This is a participle. He was uh, farewelling them. He was greeting them, but on his way out the door. So he saluted them. He gave them his uh, message of departure as he was getting ready to head to Macedonia. Now, we're gonna see it in a figurative use, a purely figurative use, not about people to people. So this is Hebrews chapter 11, verse 13. These all died in faith, not having received the things promised, but having seen them and greeted them from afar and having acknowledged that they were strangers and exiles on the earth. So having greeted them, uh, aspasamanoi, here again, this is another participle. And so the things that they were looking forward to but had not yet received, they were per perpetually greeting, welcoming. Uh, a, a modern vernacular would be they were promised certain things that hadn't happened yet, but they kept the welcome mat out for those things right? They were in a perpetual state of openness to receiving the things that had been promised, but had not yet come to pass. Uh, finally, we're going to see uh, a spasmos as a written greeting rather than an act of greeting or a posture of greeting, but as a written greeting. So this is Colossians chapter 4, verse 18. And here we have, I, Paul, write this greeting, a spasmos, with my own hand, remember my chains, grace be with you. So here we have a fascinating thing. He tells them that he's writing the greeting by himself. The word aspasmos is not the greeting. The greeting comes later at the end of the verse where he says, grace be with you. 
right? Karis Kyarene Humin, grace and peace to you. That's the greeting I leave you with at the end. Here the greeting is, grace be with you. Uh, he tells them, I'm writing the greeting, aspasmos myself. And what does he write? What is the greeting? Grace be with you. Uh, pretty magnificent stuff. So, <clears throat> aspazomai is our verb. I greet, I welcome, I salute, literally and figuratively. Began as a physical embrace and came to be embracing of people or ideas or events. Uh, aspasmos is the physical greeting, as a, the, the greeting itself can mean a written greeting or it can be the, uh, the, the, the act of greeting that takes place but not in the sense of a verb. Uh, okay, so he offered a greeting. That's the noun. Uh, it's wide in its usage, figurative and literal, literal. You can find it all throughout the New Testament. Uh, so think about it next time when you offer someone a hug or a handshake uh, or a kiss and you are offering them an aspasmos and in, in its action, uh, aspazomai, I greet you, I salute you. Those are our words of the week. I hope it was good for you. If it was, you know the stuff to do with the liking and the sharing, etc. And until next time, in farewell, I say to you, Karis Kai Rene Humin, grace and peace to you.